All right, drug this bitch out. Haven't ran this thing since probably February or March when we had a power outage. So we're gonna fire it up, see if it still generates power, and see if the electric dryer still runs. Give it about a half hour run, if it does. Obviously before I even attempt to run that, I'm gonna see if it'll power a light bulb, and then we'll find out if it has enough chutes to run the dryer. So let me get a lamp to plug in, and we'll go from there. Okay, got a fan plugged into it. Let's see if it even starts. Fuel on. Choke all the way out. I got the string on here because it was somewhat hunting a little bit. It was either on or off as far as chokes. I had it kind of wrapped around here. See if that affects anything. So choke is fully out. Let's see if the electric start works. So this ba the battery's been on charge, but who knows if it'll even run. Set the regular, press care off, this off, do time dry. So it'll do about 30 minutes ish. Nothing in here that's clean. <laughs> that's connected. Back her up! Started no problem. Running no problem. Go back. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. The dryer still works. The generator still has it. You gotta run these things at least every couple months. That's why I like these uh, whole house ones have like, like an, called an engine exercise. You, you can't just park your generator in the garage and forget about it until there's a power outage. Because you guess the magnetic fields in the generator head can lose their mag magnetism and then you gotta flash it. So every couple months it's, it's good to come out and at least run it for a few minutes just to keep it active. Plus you wanna make sure it runs so you don't want to, like if you have a power outage and you go start and you find out it don't work, now you're screwed because every, every, every hardware store is sold out. So now's the time to find out if it runs or not. And it still does, and it's still powering the dryer, no problem. Right, that's nice and hot. Maybe because it was cold out, it didn't, it was kind of surging. Plus, I said I left it in here, but I had it running this fan to bring in the air, but it seems to be running fine now. There is stabilizer in that gas, so this will probably be the last season for that gas, and I'll probably put it in the van, like a thing at a time. Come back in a while.
And that's it. Always turn the fuel off and let it run out before you turn it off for good. You don't want to store it with fuel in the carb. And that's it. They ran flawlessly and the dryer ran perfectly. So this thing's still good. All right, now I'll clean up my mess. Put all this chunk away and go in. So, thanks for watching.